With the investigation, we have to follow a scientific process. We try to be systematic in our approach and keep it the same on every fire. So no matter what kind of fire it is, I'm always doing the same thing on every single one. I started off as a fire explorer with the county up in Phelan in 1986, then became a paid call firefighter. I wanted to stay with the fire department, so I found that uh, working for the Office of Fire Marshal would be a good avenue. Our investigations division, it's a uh, cool law enforcement investigations unit. So we have full peace officer powers. Well, every few days over the past month, residents would look toward the foothills and see the big plumes of smoke rising into the air and wondering, was someone out there intentionally setting those fires? The arson being the most difficult case to prosecute, this guy's lighting it because, you know, whatever his motive may be, it's revenge. We also have people that just do it for excitement, that they just love uh, fire, they love seeing all the fire engines, the planes, helicopters show up. The repercussions of what they're doing when they think they're just lighting a small fire, it gets out of control really quick and they don't realize that. And that fire comes to over the hill and then ultimately, you know, homes burning down or people dying. Arsonists are kind of unique. A lot of times they like to take credit for what they've done. They're proud of it. In the city of San Bernardino, we were having a rash of fires right up at the top of Sterling where it dead ends into Foothill and as far over as the 330 and Highland Avenue. We didn't have any good suspect information. Occasionally you have a witness say that they saw a Hispanic male on a bicycle riding into the area and he had a ponytail. And that was all we were working with forever. We obtained some trail cameras throughout the mountain. It's a matter of going up after every fire, pulling memory cards from these cameras. We were able to start seeing consistencies like, okay, well, this guy's riding his bike up into the area and then we get the fire and nobody else has seen in the area. So, and then finally, we have the Mart fire, which burned like 640 acres. A couple weeks later, we get a fire at Paris Hill. Through the course of the investigation, I learned that there's a dumpster fire right across the street at Stater Brothers. So we find video from Stater Brothers showing the same person on their bike, um, riding up to the dumpster, lighting the dumpster on fire. Started looking at Facebook profiles, and then it finally came up to this picture of this guy who posted a selfie of him, and it showed all of his tattoos, and everything that lined up perfectly with the other photos that we had. At that point, we had a good idea who this was. We served a search warrant at his house, arrested him, took him back to the police station, and through an interview with uh, detectives, and then myself, uh, he confessed to all the fires. The San Bernardino man has confessed to starting at least eight fires in the Inland Empire. Now investigators and prosecutors say they have the evidence they need to convict him and put him behind bars. Making a, a criminal arrest is gratifying to get closure to a case, especially knowing that you're getting an arsonist off the street, which is huge. I'm Mike Carey, I'm a fire investigator with San Bernardino County Fire, and I'm proud to serve you.